Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Heather. I'm the Bent Yogi. Welcome to Wednesday Live. This is a class that I teach 30 minutes live on my Instagram every Wednesday morning from 7.30 to 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you missed it there, you can do it. Practice with me right here, right now. Come on to your mat. Come on into your child's pose. And yeah, in your child's pose, Take a big breath in and a long breath out in your child's pose on your mat, in your body in this moment. Take a really big inhale and a big exhale and really feel, feel your hands where and how they connect to your mat, to the ground. Feel the tops of your feet, your head. And you can feel where these parts of your body and how these parts of your body connect to the ground, but also feel that, sounds silly, but these parts of your body connected to make up your body and your breath and your intention it all connected to make up your being. And this practice of being right here, right now. Take one more deep breath in. Then a long breath out. And extend your hands a little more forward. Tuck your toes under. Come on to your downward facing dog. So if you want to take more time in child's pose, you can take more time in child's pose. As you come into your downward dog, maybe a little bit of movement. There's a lot of movement in this practice. There's a lot of movement in our lives, right? I think we're always, almost always on the go or thinking about where we're going next. So let all of this movement be intentional. Feel it. Feel it in your body. Feel how it benefits your body. Feel how the movement and the stillness benefits your whole being. Here you can set your gaze or close your eyes. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Take one more big inhale here. As you exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Come on into your halfway lift, your flat back. Set your feet. Lengthen your spine. Feet can be together or apart, but long spine, little lift to your chest and to your heart. Let your shoulders roll back. Belly draws in and up. Take a big inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Press into your feet and rise to stand. Come on up. Hands high. Heart lifts. Fill up. Big inhale. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Set your feet here. Set your gaze or close your eyes. Let your hands... Come to rest really lightly together at your heart center. And you can set an intention for your practice or that's something that resonates with you today. Together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, reach your hands high, lift up, lengthen up, fold forward, exhale. Find your halfway lift, your flat back. Inhale, bring your hands to your mat. Step back to your high push-up. Move forward, halfway down or all the way down for your low push-up. Pause in your low push-up. You can drop your knees or come all the way down. A big breath in, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to your downward dog or your child's pose. And you can add in, you can add in, right? Whatever you want to add in. Right, so if you decide to come into child's pose and take a break, it's not that you're doing less. You are adding that in, right? adding in what you need for yourself today. Take another big inhale here. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Rise up. Lift and reach. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Chaturanga. Low push up. You can step or jump back. Inhale, upward facing dog, maybe a cobra or a low cobra. Exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Take a long breath in, and a long breath out. A big inhale, 
and a big exhale. Once more, deep breath in, fill up. Exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale, elbows squeeze in as you move forward and down. Inhale, upward facing dog, leading with your heart. Exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. Bring your feet together a little bit forward. Take your right leg up to the sky. Come forward to your high push up and draw your knee into your chest. Lift out of your shoulders. Keep that left leg active and engaged, belly in and up. Inhale up and back to your three-legged dog. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Right foot steps up. Set your feet and rise up. As you come up, set your gaze here. Hands high or at your heart. You can make little adjustments, sometimes big adjustments. But then the balance of settling into the pose and just taking a couple of breaths. Feel your breath, maybe even hear your breath here. Take one more big inhale, exhale, hands come to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Bring your feet together and forward. Now take your left leg to the sky. Low belly draws in and up, hands press down and without moving. Come forward to your high push up and draw your knee into your chest. Lift under your shoulders, really long through your arms, long through your fingers. Inhale up and back to your three legged dog, warrior one. Left foot steps up, right foot spins flat, rise up. Set your front foot so it's flat and straight. Set your back foot, back toes point just a little bit forward. And here you might find you can lift and lengthen through your back leg. Bend into your front knee and lift up out of your hips. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. Once more, a big inhale here. Exhale, hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog your child's pose. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. <sighs> Take a big inhale here. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Set your feet. Big bend to your knees. Here, interlace your fingers at your low back. Maybe a towel or a strap between your hands. Let your shoulders roll back. Soften your toes, feel like you can come a little more into your heels. With your fingers interlaced, roll your shoulders back so you're lifting your chest, lifting your heart, almost a little bit of a back bend. Now take a big breath in, fold forward as you exhale. Keep your fingers interlaced, feet can stay together or you can walk them apart. I like to walk mine apart, about hips width distance. It makes balancing a little simpler. Right, and then you might be able to enjoy the shoulder rinse a little more. You can drop your head here. Notice the resistance. Notice if you're trying to push or force to make something happen. Slow down a little bit. Take your time with this. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Here, release your hands. Find your halfway lift. Inhale. Hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Right foot steps. Warrior one. Back foot flat. Rise up. Exhale. Hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Left foot steps. Warrior one. Reach up. Exhale. Hands come back down. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Big breath in. And a long breath out. Once more, a deep inhale here. Exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana. Sit down, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale, inhale, 
Upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, warrior one. Root down, rise up. Exhale, hands to your mat. High push up to low. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps, warrior one. Reach up, tall at the top. Exhale, hands back down. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and empty out. <sighs> if you let your head hang, let your heels soften. Take another good breath in. Exhale, step or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Set your feet. Bend your knees. Lift your chest. Lift your heart. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale here. Twist to your left. Right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. So feet can be together or apart. Steady, intentional foundation. The steady movement of your breath. Staying grounded, but lengthening your spine and lifting your chest, lifting your heart. You can keep your hands together. You can open up, you can come into a side curl if you want to come into your side curl. Take one more big inhale here. Fold forward, exhale. Walk your feet apart, back hips with distance, hips with distance, and with your peace fingers, hook your big toes. Add in a halfway lift, and lengthen and fold. Gently lengthening through the backs of your legs, some space in your low back. Feeling if you can drop your head if you come into the forward fold. So if the forward fold doesn't work, you can stick with more of a flat back or more of a rag doll. Work with your body. Work with this breath. Work with this body, this body that showed up on your mat today. Take a deep breath in. Then a long breath out. Release your toes. Walk your feet closer together to touch and rise to stand. Come all the way up. Lift up. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Right foot steps forward. Crescent lunge. Keep your back heel lifted. Rise up, set your right foot, set your gaze, step forward onto your right foot, catch your lifted left knee in front of you with your left hand. Right hand can be high or at your hip, low belly draws in and up. And you can keep hold of your left knee or you can grab your left big toe with your peace fingers and extend your left foot forward. Even on your hips, watch out for rounding forward, belly in and up, heart up, crown of the head up. Now you can take the left foot or your left knee out to the left and you might drop your right arm out to the right. Sometimes it helps a little bit with balance. Breathe here for three, two. Come back to center. Leg stays lifted. Take your hands high, a big inhale. Airplane Dekasana. Take your time sweeping that left foot back, taking your hands back. Spin your palms down. Lift your chest and lift your heart. Take a big inhale. Left foot down beside the right front of your mat. Sweep up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, crescent lunge, come up. Open out, warrior two. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Pause, pause in your reverse warrior. Bend into your front knee. Lengthen and lift through your back leg. Soften your toes. Take a big inhale. Side angle, Parsva Konasana. Right elbow to your right thigh. You can slide the right hand down. Left arm reaches up. So you have this balance of reaching down, grounding down, and lifting up, lightening up. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Extend your top arm forward. Let your left shoulder roll back here. And keep the bend in your front knee. You can intentionally back off the bend in your front knee. But notice if as you move your upper body around, you unintentionally lose the bend in the knee. Soften your toes, take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. 
reach your top arm back up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two. Pivot your toes towards the side edge of your mat and come on into your horse. Sit down, big bend to the knees, belly in and up. Tall and upright in your upper body. Sweep your arms up, eagle arms, right arm wraps under your left. And even as you bend your knees, Stay tall and upright here as you wrap your arms, soften your shoulders, soften your face. I like to keep reminding myself and you to soften your toes, right? Just those funny little places where we hang on and when we don't really mean to. Loosen up those places, loosen up that energy. You have more energy for what you really want right here, right now. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Now keep your arms wrapped, straighten your legs, pivot around towards the back edge of your mat and take your right leg up and over for your full eagle. So your left foot is your standing foot, your right leg wraps up and over, right hip, right shoulder, come back, breathe here for five, four. Big bend in your standing knee, three, two, release, unwrap, reach all the way up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Come on forward to your high push up, left hand under your left shoulder, heels to your left, Side plank, Vashti Stasana. You can drop your bottom knee. Add in some space between your chin and your chest. It's nice to bring that top hand behind your head so you can really lengthen out here. Take your top arm, lengthen it forward. Lift your right foot, engage your core. Now you can drop your left knee for this. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, elbow and knee touch, right elbow, right knee. Inhale, extend out, press to the right heel. Exhale, elbow and knee touch, belly in and up. Inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, touch. One more time. Inhale, extend and hold. A big breath in. Release, high push up. Right hand, right foot down. Forward and down, low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Or your child's pose. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. <sighs> Take another big inhale here. Exhale, step or jump to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Set your feet, even out your feet, even out your breath. Bring your hands to your heart. Sit a little bit lower, keep your heart high, a big breath in. Twist to your right, left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. So maybe your left elbow hovers above your legs or lands more between your knees. Feel that, right? Feel your breath, feel your body. You're connecting into your body, connecting all these different parts of your body, connecting into your being, being in this moment. Hands can stay together or open up, right? And we're connecting with each other. Even with practice like this, we're connecting with each other. Sharing time, sharing space. Take a big breath in, fold forward, exhale. Walk your feet apart. Back hips with distance and stand on your hands for Padmasthasana. Halfway lift on the inhale, lengthen and fold as you exhale. Again, maybe more of a ragdoll or a flat back, maybe a different pose entirely. What can you add in? And whatever you're doing, you can add in intention and breath, whether you're on your mat or off your mat. Take a deep inhale and a long exhale. Take your hands up under your feet, walk your feet closer together to touch and rise to stand. Come all the way up, lift and reach, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward, 
crescent lunge. Step up, rise up, set your gaze, set your left foot, step forward, catch your lifted right knee in front of you with your right hand. And use your core to help you lift that right knee, lift through your left leg, left hand higher at your hip. You can keep hold of the right knee or you can grab your right big toe with your peace fingers and play around with extending the right foot forward. So that doesn't mean you have to be able to straighten the right leg. You don't have to do the most you can, just do the best you can. And that's different every day, even moment to moment. You can take your right foot, right knee out to the right, left hand can come out to the left for a little bit of balance. Breathe here for three, two, back to center, leg stays lifted, hands reach high, a big inhale, airplane decasana. Right foot goes back, right leg extends back, lifted, hands sweep back, lift through your standing leg, lift your chest, your heart, take a big inhale, right foot down beside the left, sweep up, reach up, fold forward, exhale, halfway lift, inhale, High push up to low push up, exhale, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, left foot steps forward, crescent lunge, come up, open out, warrior two, take your left hand high, reverse your warrior, take a couple breaths here, find a place for your right hand, left shoulder rolls back, really nice stretch, a lot of space, a lot of opportunity for space in the left side body, take a big breath in, Side angle, Parsva Konasana. Stay grounded through your back foot. Let the baby toe side of your back foot roll down into your mat. And you can slide the left hand down or keep your left elbow on your leg. Either variation, it's a nice self-assist. Keep that left knee tracking over your ankle. Extend your top arm forward. Lengthen through your whole right side body here. And lengthen and deepen your breath. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Big inhale. Big exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Reach your top arm back up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two. Pivot your toes towards the side edge of your mat. Again, heels in, toes out, coming into your horse, sitting down, hands sweep up, long spine, eagle arms, left arm wraps under your right. And set your gaze. Set your feet. Do the best you can, right? The best you can doesn't have to be the most you can. I think a lot of the times we say, well, I could do better, or I could have done better. Sure. But all you can do, all we can do is just the best we can in any given moment. And at the same time, right, we might be, maybe we can be a little better at being kind with ourselves, compassionate with ourselves. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Now keep your arms wrapped, straighten your legs, pivot around towards the front edge of your mat, take your left leg, wrap it up and over for your eagle. Take your time with it. Drishti helps a lot. As the left leg comes over, let your left hip, left shoulder come back. Sit a little bit lower, breathe for five, four, three, two, Release, unwrap, reach all the way up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Big breath in, and a long breath out. Come on forward to your high push up, right hand under your right shoulder, heels to your right, side plank, Vashtisthasana. Again, space between your chin and your chest, so you're really long from the crown of your head to your heels. Extend your left arm forward. You can drop your right knee. Lift your left foot, belly in and up. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, left elbow, left knee touch. Inhale, extend out. Lengthen, press through your left heel. Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Drishti helps here. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Inhale, extend. 
exhale, touch. One more time. Inhale, extend here, hold. Back to your high push up, forward and down, low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Big breath in. And a long breath out. Ah. Bring your feet together and forward. Right leg to the sky. Bend your right knee. Down dog. Hip opener. You can flip if you like. And set up your half pigeon. Right knee forward. Right foot over and across. Left leg long behind you. Just a, just a short half pigeon today. 30 minutes always goes by so quickly. Let your head land. You land your hands softly. Soften your toes. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. A big inhale. And a big exhale. So right here, do the best you can. Trust that you're doing the best you can. You're showing up, you're breathing, caring for yourself, connecting with yourself or connecting with each other, and putting ourselves in a, a better space so we're better able to share our care when we step off our mats. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And hopefully putting ourselves, raising our vibrations so we can share the best of ourselves when we step off our mats. Hands under your shoulders. Back to your downward facing dog. Bring your feet together and forward, left leg high, bend your left knee for your down dog hip opener. Flip your dog, play around with this, set up your half pigeon. Let there be length in your back leg, length in your spine, the sides of your body. Especially slowing down and staying in the pose a little bit longer. Feel if you can lengthen and deepen your breath. A big inhale. And a big exhale. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Set your hands under your shoulders. One last downward facing dog. A big inhale. Big exhale. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, walk or jump your feet through your hands, sit down, lie down, set up for your bridge or your wheel. Set your foundation, take a big inhale, don't rush it, but also stay with it. Stay with your intention, your focus, stay with your breath. Stay with yourself. Breathe here for five, four, Three, two, a big breath in, and gently lower down. Come onto your back, soles of your feet together, knees to the sides for Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a deep breath in. Hold it for just a moment. Fill up as much as you can, and release. Ah. Moving from here right into Shavasana, so you can add in your own adjustments. Find a, a physical 
variation that works for you. And it's okay if you get distracted, right? Do the best you can. Staying here, coming back, cultivating this care and connection. Take one more breath in. And empty out. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Just bring some gentle movement back to your body. And draw your knees to your chest. Roll to one side and make your way to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your gaze. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. Together, let's take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining me for practice today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's so nice to practice with you and connect in this way. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and most important, take care of yourself, take care of each other. I'll see you on your mat.